Hey Tiki, so okay, today we are doing winter 3D nail art, something I have never done before. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using this stuff. This is called NOQ Jelly Queen 3D Gel. It was sent to me by Ocean Nail Supply. I have never used this stuff before, so disclaimer. <laughs> Uh, they sent me three tubes of it, a blue one, a yellow one, and a hot pink one. Uh, and I'm going to use it for the very first time. What fun. We can learn together. <laughs> well, I did watch a couple of videos when I got it because I didn't even know what it was, to be honest. Um, well, I did, but I wasn't really 100% sure of how to use it. But I did know that I wanted to not have to soak it off. So I'm using Unt Peel Off Base Coat, or Unt, whatever it is, uh, to so just to stop myself having to actually uh, soak it off because I don't like soaking things off. Okay, so once that's dry, we're going to come in with this NOQ Jelly Queen 3D gel, and we're going to create like a uh, a woolen woolen jumper, an ugly not ugly sweat, like a woolen jumper. You know, like a you know those knitting patterns. I'm I'm not a good knitter. I can knit scarves, but that's about it. Anyway, I'm going to. That's what I'm doing. That's what. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay so once you've done your pattern you then want to cure it under an led light and obviously we're going to zoom through that because it's like watching paint dry literally <laughs> Okay, so now it's cured, we can go ahead and put some polish over the top. Now I'm just using OPI's Alpine Snow here. Now I'm not overly concerned that it's uh, that the 3D stuff is blue and it, that you can kind of see through the white. That's not a concern for me because I quite like that sort of baby blue kind of look. But if you wanted it to be completely opaquely white you could just add another coat as you can see I put quite a lot of alpine snow on this because I really wanted to cover it very well in like one sort of go I didn't want to have to go over it again and I completely flooded my cuticles <laughs> moving on to the middle nail I decided that I was going to try and create a 3d uh what is it snowflake <laughs> uh you can go ahead and make fun of me now <laughs> really bad it's really bad even though like the tip of the little tube is quite small it was actually quite difficult <laughs> and uh, I wasn't doing a great job and it's kind of stringy it's weird it's kind of stringy so it does it's not really co the consistency of paint it's more like the consistency of icing like that you would plant when you're icing a cake I guess anyway it's like you're icing your fingers <laughs> So anywho, we don't want to prolong this, the pain of having to watch this really awful uh, <laughs> snowflake any longer. Let's just go ahead and get this done, get it cured and let's get out of here. <laughs> it's really bad. It's the worst snowflake I've ever done, I think. So to be perfectly honest, uh, I really did think I could save it by putting the white over the top, but I really, like, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think it saved it at all. And... Like the next day I was thinking about it because I wore it for like 12 hours. I was thinking, oh gosh, I wish I had have just redid that one and made it the same as the other nail. But then I thought, no, well, let's show you this and we'll see how we go. If you look at it from a distance, like a long way away, it's not too bad. <laughs> the final step, of course, is to top coat it. And I'm just using Seshbe. You could most definitely, if, I mean, if you've gone this far, you could definitely use a gel top coat. But I decided just to use Seshbe for my own purposes. And as I said, I did wear it for 12 hours and it still stood up. So there you go. <laughs> And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Um, even if you just were laughing at me, that's fine too. It felt really weird because I'd never really worn, and no, I'd never worn sort of 3D nail art before. So it was a very strange experience for me, but I, I think I'd probably use them again. Uh, I want to try the other two colours as well. But anyway, I, I yeah, I yeah. Links will be in the description box down below if you want to go and check them out. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and go and watch my previous video. It's very important because you don't want to miss out on stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'll go now. Bye.